It's five o'clock on a Sunday morning and we're up and at it for the boot sales. Do you know, I found myself being slightly amused this morning when the alarm went off. It's like I'm watching a conversation of two other versions of myself discussing the merits of getting up and whether I need to do it or not. It's bizarre. The scenarios the mind creates when you're tired, it's unreal. I was very, very tempted to stay in bed this morning. I think I might be going a little bit mad. Going to a boot sale I haven't been to since last winter. Indoor boot sale. It is forecast for rain from about 10 o'clock today. And I think a lot of the outdoor boot sales are gonna be very quiet because of it. So I'm gonna venture over to Accrington. That's the plan anyway. Seriously need a coffee infusion first. Let's get on the road, see what we can find. It's actually pretty warm in Accrington this morning for a late November. It's about 10, 11 degrees. Lovely. Rather civilised. How much is your record case, bud? Really? How much is your record case? I'm not saying it. Are you not? It's bad than the sound of the All right, okay, fair enough. <laughs> That's not right, that. Sorry? That's not right, that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Too early on this one. Yeah, definitely. How much have you got in your duplo? Sorry? How much is your duplo? Um, 25. 25. It's really, it's 19 ounces of few collector's pieces yeah. in there, yeah. yeah. It never wears out, but... That's it, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty it bulletproof, isn't it? it? <laughs> Morning. Morning. How much are your hotters? Twelve. Twelve. The old size four. Yeah. The Could you do four for forty? Yeah, did. Uh, the four new ones. It looks like it's been worn that one. Smashing, thank you. Oh yeah. Well, I don't, I don't go to a boot sale without it these days. Wait, you can get them for about um, 50 quid, yeah. but that, that one's an expensive one. It's about 130. But the thing yeah. is, I, I find I, I use them a lot, so yeah. I needed to get an half decent one to get some mileage out of it. Yeah, yeah. No, thank you. Got plenty more space to put stuff now, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Have you got any more hotters? So I'm coming pecking your head while you're saying, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Yeah. Oh, they're different bombs. Alright, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, they've got the prices on. Some of them have got the prices on. Like that should be £9.99. Nine, they should be £10. Um, they should be £10. Yeah. Um, and so if you want, you know, a few of them. 
Thank you, yeah, thank you. We presume they go with it. Oh, yeah. But we don't know, you put it on. Yeah, we'll do a fire for that. Uh, do you want the wheels? Yeah, that'll be great, thank you. I suppose they're no use to anybody we are there, so they. I felt in that, much obliged. Back in, thank you, sir. Aye, uh, thank you. CD player. How much have you got in it, bud? How much is it? Only five. You get the money back guarantee with that as well. Right, basically, I'm a DJ. I give you a card, take it home. If it doesn't work, see you next week, whenever I give you money back. Top man. Huh? Top man. That sounds, that sounds like good customer service ever. Well, it's, you know, <laughs> I'd never sell anything that don't work. That's oh, true, yeah. It's true. It comes with. I'm using three and then and MP3 came along. Yeah. So yeah. I didn't change. Plus I stopped DJing club. I couldn't go, go back to DJing, honestly, you're a braver man than me. I've been doing this until 16, yeah. 66, I'm jacking in. <laughs> I've had this year, April, and I'm packing in. I just got fed up with dealing with drunk people. Uh, it's 25 minutes. How's it going, Mr. King? Oh, not too bad, so how are you? Sorry. Are you jackets for sale, laddie, mate, or are you just... Yeah, yeah. How much have we got on that one? Be worth two quid, don't it? Pardon? It's got to be worth two quid, don't it? Right, we've got lights in it. Yeah, I think they've, they've improved the lighting on the lower levels, not so much up here. Cheers, buddy, have a good day. How much is your TV, pal? Brand new, uh, boxy tacky, but there's nothing wrong with the actual unit. I've got 40 quid, it? 40. It's brand new. Could do 30. I'll do 34 for you. Let me have another look. <laughs> I'll try and talk myself into it. 110 quid to buy. Yeah. It's a good size for the kitchen or caravan or whatever, you know, I'm going for 24. I bet 114 quid on Amazon. Nah, I'm not going to be able to do it, sadly. Sorry? I'm not going to be able to do it. Thank you, though. Cheers, mate. Give me 30 seconds. You sure? Appreciate it, man. Thank you. It was very borderline, that borderline decision. Yeah, I, th I think I made a five on it. Yeah, cheers, bud. Is a remote with it? Yeah. yeah. Should have asked that first, really. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. 20, 25, 30. Yeah, well, I feel like I've had my fill at Accrington today. It was actually quite busy for sellers and not so busy for buyers, which is great. It's the busiest I've seen it. Um, I'm going to try and hit somewhere else. If it starts raining on the way back to Chorley, I'll knock it on the head. If it doesn't, perhaps head to Bolton. Let's see what we can find there. It is spitting a bit, but I just can't resist the temptation. I just love this boot sale so much. <laughs> I'm a great advert for this car boot, aren't I? <laughs> Not biased at all. It is quiet today. It's looking like one car park and that's not entirely full but to be fair going off the forecast i uh, wasn't expecting it to be this busy really let's go and see if we can find anything definitely no trolley though trust the old ikea bag instead
for you, Paul. Right, How much are these? Um, do, do them for a fiver each. I'm sure I saw you at Bursco with these, you know. You did? Yeah. And uh, two quid. Oh. I seem to remember yeah. regretting not buying these. I can't remember why, though. Yeah. <laughs> I think I said uh, I'd do you a deal on them as well. Yeah. If you want them all. They made that six, Sam, you know. You had a few as well, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, I had loads. But uh, didn't have to buy. Buy it. Um, If you want them, how many is there? Six. six. 10, 20, 30. Uh, make me an offer for the six. Can we get anywhere near 20? Yeah. I'm glad I bumped into you again. I was kicking myself. <laughs> well, keep reminding me because when I get spare batteries, yeah, I'll give you some. Nice one. Appreciate like that. Not, because yeah, I appreciate get the batteries for nothing when I get them. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I'll have other stuff as well. So I'll be saying anything like printers, labels, yeah. stuff like that. Um, I'll always do you a deal. That's my last one. If you want it for three quid. Blinding. That's your label printer. And these are your um, printers. Postage labels and that. No, it, it, you know. Oh, it's all wrong, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 As they still use these. Yeah. I know because I worked for Asda, I didn't think <laughs> Do you know what? Best company I've ever worked for in all my fucking Asda. Life. Yeah, Do you know what? I had a friend whose wife uh, sadly passed away yeah. and she worked for Asda and they really looked after his family. Well, the guy who Details. makes the videos. Yeah, I've we've met before, yeah, yeah. No, I don't think we have. I was just oh, was that the car boot video we watched yeah. last night? Oh, we haven't been here before. And it's 50 said, quid I seen then. It said, <laughs> I seen it said, like, uh, honest account of a. Oh, boot. right, yeah, yeah. I'm sure we've met at Bursky, you know. Yeah, we Is have your, your, what's your lad called? Jack. Jack, Jack yeah. Yeah, yeah, we have factual. definitely. Yeah. That's oh, it, wow. yeah, yeah, we've definitely met before. Oh, I right. bought off Jack a few times. I try not to. <laughs> it's a small world, isn't it? It's a small world. Why is he still in bed? <laughs> Do you know what? It was a close call for me this morning. Oh, honestly, it's, you have to dig deep this time of year for the motivation, don't you? Yeah, still recovering. Oh, we, right. we went fishing the other day. Yeah. And he's caught the biggest fish of his life in the Menai Straits. Yeah. Uh, 20 pound plus conger eel. Jeez. And, uh, I bet they put up a fight, didn't it? <laughs> I've never seen anybody catch themselves so much of all your <laughs> They have your bloody arm off those things as well, can't they? Oh yeah, it wouldn't touch it. <laughs> no, I can't say I blame him, to be Big honest. Length of this table. Yeah. Right, head on it like that. Yeah. And we were up on a wall and we had to walk in it and we got just here. Yeah. I said, you also went right the way round into the harbour. Yeah. This other guy came on, you know, we had about 20 other people around. Yeah, yeah. This fellow lifted it out on the rig like that. <laughs> and he stands from me to you, but that's a big one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have a good day, thank you. How much have you got in your hunters, mate? Um, 15 each. 15 each. Do 35 to call three pairs. Smart move bringing this gazebo today, wasn't it? Oh yeah. <laughs> small though, isn't it? Oh, we need a bigger one. Better than having it now, though. Hello. Cheers, my mate. Have a good day, gents. You as well, mate.
Oh my good grief, man was it worthwhile turning up at Bolton today. The rain has got heavier and not many pickups, but I'm absolutely buzzing about this. I spent £20 with one seller with a potential return of hundreds of pounds. It was the second bite of the cherry as well. I'll explain everything in a moment after I've had a nap <laughs> in a bit. Well, it looks like the weatherman got the forecast correct today. Absolutely chucking it down, which kind of makes me a little bit smug about the result from today because it was really rather good. Let's get into it, see what I got. Definitely worth getting out of the house. But to be fair, there's only really a couple of sellers that made it worthwhile. That's all it takes though. Okay, first out of the gate, this TV, 24 inch HD TV, built in DVD player. That's a 12 volt as well. So obviously very attractive to the likes of people in camper vans, caravans, holiday homes, that kind of thing. I sold a similar TV to this really recently and it flew. I think it, it, it sold within three or four days. Paid £30 for this one though. I think I paid £10 for the last one. That's going to have a listing value of £80. I might tweak that up a bit as well. Very little competition for that size of TV of that nature. Next, this Sharp EL2607P. Obviously a tax calculator. The seller was quite honest about it. He said it powers on, but they couldn't get it to work with the, the rolls. So this may well have been a gamble. Plenty of rolls with it though, and that's that was a really great selling point. There are a few comps for this uh, particular device on eBay, and they're not amazing. I paid five pound for it, but because it's got the rolls with it as well, it's going to have a listing value of thirty-five pound. Loving picking hotter shoes up. Three pairs of brand spanking new size four, which is really smaller than I'd like, and I really don't want to prejudge, but these type of shoes, uh, little old ladies love them. <laughs> It's going to be people shouting at the screen now saying, I've got hotters and I'm not a little old lady, but they're a size four and little old ladies by definition are little and also old. <laughs> like I say, pay £10 each for those and they're going to have a listing value of between £25 and £30 each. Uh, from a subscriber, these are Adidas Goletto 8, size eight and a half. Pretty good, Nick. Just need a bit of a wipe down. Paid £8 for these and they'll have a listing value of £25. I've sold loads of pairs of those in the past. Three pairs of Hunter Wellies from Bolton. Paid £35 for all three pairs. They're all in great condition with the exception of the black ones. The, the, the black ones look near mint. They've got a bit of dirt on them, like, but they look in near mint condition. But I only just noticed when I got home that the buckle on one side is gone. So that's going to devalue, uh, devalue them a bit. I'm going to put a listing value of £25 each on them. If it wasn't for that buckle issue on those, I'd probably be looking at 30 plus now this i don't want to say it was a gamble because this fat face wax jacket was only two quid so if i've lost two quid then pff, whatever it look really looks quite it looks like it's been in the garage for quite a while there's a bit of mold on the pocket there but the two pound paid for it to look at a listing value of 35 to 40 pound by far and i mean by far and away the pickup of the day with these scanners and like i said earlier in the video it was a second bite of the cherry i saw these scanners in fact there was quite a lot more of them uh, from this seller at the burska boot sale earlier in the season a friend of mine spotted it in one of my videos and said, are you absolutely mad? Why didn't you buy those? I can't remember how much he said he wanted for them at the time, but this time round, I paid £20 for all six. These uh, barcode scanners, Motorola barcode scanners, they're obviously not tested. There's no power cables with them. There's only one battery that I can see in the cradles behind. That's not to say there won't be batteries actually in them, but it's absolutely, absolutely the safest money I've spent because worst case scenario all the scanners are knackered they'll have a spares of repairs value of about 10 pound each but the cradles themselves with no power cable flip for 40 pound each relatively recent comps for that as well but best case scenario if everything works fine and there's batteries in them and i won't have to source the batteries the chap did say he can get them for free but to be fair i've seen i've not i've only seen him twice in six months so these will be long gone by the time i see him again but assuming everything works fine each one of these has a potential 
of £130. There's recent comps for around about the 60 to 80 pound relatively recent comps over the last 90 days i did have to go on terapeut to research and there are comps of 130 pound plus per unit so that was a that was a score and a half even if they're knackered it was a score and a half today's just a great example of how valuable you guys are the sharing of knowledge within the reseller community is just fantastic i would have walked past those again if it wasn't for my friend hitting me up and saying listen you need to be having a look at those if you see him again which i did so peter zabinski you are an absolute diamond thank you sir very soggy out and about today, but that's not to say you didn't spot anything that I missed. So if you did, let me know in the comments. Like I said, your knowledge is absolutely golden to me and it is very much appreciated, as is your support for this channel. And on that note, I shall leave you. Please, before you leave, hit the thumbs up. It would be uh, greatly appreciated. And until next time, I've been Dave Keith. You've been amazing. See you soon.